Good afternoon everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I could do something a little bit different and give you the background story of the character who I am drawing, which is Ratfink. So Ratfink is a hot rod symbol of the moldering era created by Ed Big Daddy Roth. Um, in the 1950s, Roth gained attention due to his twisted surreal designs um, that he printed on t-shirts and sold. Car enthusiasts caught on to Roth's style, letting it be known across America as the custom culture scene. Roth then decided to create a mascot to represent and promote his car custom car kits and art brand. So then he created a grotesque green rat with wild eyes and sharp teeth. Rat Fink was intentionally the opposite of the famous Mickey Mouse of whom Roth disliked very much. Rat Fink is recognized for his iconic features, such as his mouth, unattractive body, and his overalls with his own initials on it. Ed Roth also created characters that are friends of Rat Fink, who are Dragnut, Mother's Worry, and Mr. Gasser. Ratfink was one of the most recognizable characters for his time. Unfortunately, when the Hot Rod era passed, Ratfink's appearance lessened. However, he did make an appearance in Grunge Rock. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the art that I did. I first did the line art um, with my favorite Castell Pit artist pens, um, and then I went in really light with the face and that took me a long time I did it way too light in the beginning and then I had to go back in to make it darker and darker um, because I wanted it to be as saturated as possible as if you have seen the actual artists work Ed Ross actual original rat fink then you would know that it's very saturated in color and I wanted to try to make it as close to that as possible Another thing that I really worried about was when I was doing the ears, I thought that they didn't quite look um, like they were connected to Ratfink's face. But once I got them both done and looked at them a bit later, I realized that they looked just fine. And then they looked a lot better once I added the white gel pin in to give them like white hairs. This isn't in the original piece, but I thought it would make it a bit cool in my style that I represented Ratfink in. Throughout most of the piece, I didn't use a lot of different colors. Like you see on the side, I used five different colors. I rarely reached for that like blue-greeny color, like turquoisey color, because I just didn't need it. Um, but then when I got to like the shirt and the gums and the teeth, I didn't use a lot of colors. The red in the shirt is all one color, and I didn't want to use the colors I used for the gums because I didn't want the gums and the t-shirt to look too close together and then blend in with each other. In the original drawing, Ratfink also has his initials on his um, shirt or overalls, um, RF for Ratfink, um, and I decided I didn't want to do that because they're further down on his overalls and I wouldn't have enough room to show them properly so I decided to just write rat fink on the bottom and I thought it would give it a better composition and I also went over the letters with white gel pen to make them look a bit shiny and I thought it gave it a lot of dimension. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe um, and hit that notification bell in the corner to get notified when I make future videos. As always, don't forget to leave a comment down below um, for what you want to see in future videos. And now I'm just going to finish it off with my name. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.